wants to be told they're one in a million, you know what I mean? Except for these folks. Having a disease that is rare, though astounding, is a pretty scary thing and today we cover a whole whack of them. Welcome back to The Hive everyone, I'm your host Rachel Fisher and today we are counting down our list of top 10 unsolved medical mysteries. Part three, because you like part one and two so much. Number 10, Hutchinson Guilford Progeria. HGPS is one of the rarest conditions in the world. It is a condition where the body dramatically and rapidly ages beginning as early as childhood. So it's kind of like Benjamin Button except backwards. Most of the time you can't tell at birth as they usually look normal, but as they age and grow they do not gain weight. Their facial characteristics also become thinner and fragile looking, their eyes and ears protrude and their features like their nose and lips become thin and beak like. The condition also causes alopecia, which is hair loss, and they lose their fat beneath their skin. However, intellectual development is uninhibited and their motor skills don't suffer either, so they're literally just trapped inside this body. But sadly, the condition does not have a very long life expectancy as they often suffer heart attacks and strokes at a very young age. There are approximately 100 documented cases where patients lived into their 20s. Currently, the cure remains a mystery. Number 9. Allergic to the cold. What? I mean, I'm I don't like the cold, but mm? to clarify, not a cold, but the cold. Entirely opposite to another case on this list, there are actually people in this world that are allergic to the cold. Right? Then that's not just like them like shivering in the wind. Like I don't mean that, and I don't mean your aunt who flies to Florida for Christmas. I'm talking about breaking out in rashes. The condition is called cold urticaria. Even slight exposure can result in a welt, and jumping into cold water could result in a full anaphylactic shock. Imagine how much of a problem this is. Like the cure still eludes doctors, but they may actually know the reason. Dr. Gerald Gleish at the University of Utah studies patients with the condition. He says that it appears to be due to an antibody called immunoglobin E. This antibody causes the inappropriate immune reaction and it may hold in store the cure. So far only antihistamines work a little bit, but it still remains a boggling mystery as to how things could go this wrong. You know? Very very strange. Number 8, Kuru. I'm not going to lie to you. I was I was debating putting this one on the list because it has an explanation as some of them do on this list, but it still has no cure. Sort of. Kuru is a very strange, fatal brain disease similar to mad cow. Proteins called prions cause a buildup of abnormal brain tissue. This causes irreversible brain damage and there's just no going back. It's 100% lethal. It was first discovered in a remote region of New Guinea by a tribe that practiced consuming human flesh. Their belief was that it preserved the spirits of the dead. This little fact brings me to my next point that Kuru can only be contracted through the consumption of human brains. The tradition to consume human bodies is now outlawed so there have been significantly less cases. However, there remains no cure to the disease besides like, you know, not having human brains for Sunday dinner. Number 7, microcephaly. Microcephaly is a birth defect that affects every 1 in 800 to 5,000 babies born. There is no way to predict the condition unless diagnosed in the third trimester via ultrasound, but even by then, it's already too late. Even with that, the cause and treatment of the condition still remains unknown. Microcephaly is a condition in which a child's head doesn't form properly, being a few times smaller than it should be. In the womb, a baby's head grows because the brain grows. So if the brain doesn't grow, then neither does the head. Severe cases where the head is even smaller could have resulted from injury in the womb. Accompanying conditions are seizures, developmental delay, movement and balance issues, hearing loss, difficulty swallowing, and vision problems. The list of theories as to how it happens is pretty long from genetic shifts to accidents, malnutrition, alcohol and more, but it remains a lifelong condition with no set protocols or practices as to how to treat it even beyond a cure. So doctors still remain baffled and there's no way of preventing it. Number 6, tree man syndrome. Epidermodysplasia variciformis. That is the actual scientific name. In a previous video we talked about stone man syndrome, well this next one turns you into a living human tree, kind of. It is shocking to look at and almost looks too remarkable to be true, but sadly it is. EV is a rare inherited form of HPV, the human papillomavirus. It causes a chronic infection of bark like growths on the skin and they just get insane. 
They usually develop on the hands and feet, but have been known to develop on the face in severe cases. Currently, there are no effective treatments besides removing the warts, but nothing can stop them from growing. A man in Jerusalem hadn't been able to use his hands for years until a doctor was finally able to successfully surgically remove them. But still, there is no cure for halting the process altogether, but hopefully the cure will follow the same one that is for HPV, which is hopefully closer than we think it is. Number five, the boy who never slept. Putting your child down for a nap is probably one of the most like relieving parts as a parent. Yes, parenthood is a joy, but it's damn exhausting. I do not know how my mom and dad did it, honestly. But imagine having a four year old who like never slept. Ever. That's exactly what happened to Rhett Lamb, a young boy who boggled scientists. The mother was sure something was wrong as soon as he was born, and after realizing she wasn't just like an anxious mom, theories started flying. After multiple tireless testing, finally, they had an answer to the mystery. So yes, technically it's solved. I know that. But it's it was still a mystery, and it was unsolved for a period of time. Sue me. It's, it's really interesting. Rhett had an extremely rare condition called Chiari malformation, meaning the brain was literally being squeezed into the upper part of the spine. After undergoing surgery to remove the bone around his spinal column, doctors expected the results to set in a year later. There was a 50-50 chance that his sleep was going to improve, and it did! So I know, I know, I know. Okay, but it's this, this was like an episode of House. It starts out a mystery, and then they solve it. Number four, Wim Hof, aka the Iceman. Anyone who has experienced a Canadian winter wishes they had this guy's problem. Though it doesn't really sound like a problem at all, but definitely a mystery. Wim Hof isn't bothered by the cold. That's right, the cold never bothered him anyway. Over 30 years ago, Wim Hof from the Netherlands was going for a walk when he had the overwhelming impulse to see if he could like swim in icy water and how it was. It made him feel so good that he's done it every day since. He has since been called the Iceman, his ability to withstand the cold superhuman. In January 1999, he traveled to the Arctic Circle to run a half marathon in his bare feet. Three years later, he earned the Guinness Book of World Record for the longest amount of time under the ice, twice the length of an Olympic pool. Insane. He even climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in shorts. When Dr. Ken Kamler heard of his case, he immediately began to study him. Kamler had treated dozens of people who tried and failed to climb Mount Kilimanjaro due to the extreme cold. The only explanation he's uncovered is that it must be something to do with his mindset or the wiring in his brain. This man defies science in ways that no one quite understands. And if you want to learn more, you can check out his website. Number three, Perry's Romberg syndrome. Another unbelievably rare and terrifying disorder where the skin and soft tissues of half of the face atrophy. It usually occurs in the left half of the face and is more common in women than in men. The deterioration begins above the upper jaw, between the nose and the upper lip, then to the eye, ear, and neck areas. This process may also affect the gums and roof of the mouth. So essentially, the left side of your face caves in on itself and ages 80 years. Hair on that side turns white and falls out. This entire process takes place over a 2-10 to 10 year period before it finally stabilizes. Sometimes it hinders vision, other times the effects are just cosmetic, but still a frustrating process for the patients going through it. On top of that, there is no cure and there are no current treatments to stop the deterioration. So far the only option is surgical intervention with reconstructive procedures. Number two, RPI deficiency. Introducing the second rarest disease in the world, fitting for number two, with only four known cases ever historically diagnosed. White matter is made up of tissue that includes nerve fibers that connect nerve cells. So, needless to say, one of the most important parts of the brain. RPI deficiency patients have diffuse white matter abnormalities, which causes psychomotor regression, developmental delays, along with seizures, poor vision, and slow emotional and physical reflexes. Scientists are working tirelessly to find a way to cure it. But you might be thinking, if it's so rare, why are we so stressed about it? Well, you might think that with your perfectly healthy brain, but to the next potential patient, a cure could mean the world. Well, actually, no, it will mean the world. Though doctors have been able to figure out the cause, the cure still remains unsolved. Number one, Fields disease. Fields disease was named after a pair of twins in Wales, Catherine and Christy, who were the first to be diagnosed with the disease, and they're the only ones. In total, there have only been two diagnosed cases of the disease in history, which makes it like the rarest in the world. 
What is it exactly? Fields disease is a neuromuscular disease that affects the voluntary movement of muscles. Due to the rarity of the case, information is very, very limited. Doctors first noticed it when the girls were about four years old, and by the time they turned nine, they could barely walk. By age 11, they couldn't eat to or write by themselves, and by 14, they lost the ability to speak. So as you can see, the degeneration is quite rapid. Alongside losing their ability to move and function, Catherine and Christy also experienced over a hundred painful muscle spasms daily. The doctors did numerous tests to rule out other conditions, but still they have no idea what is causing the disease. Nor, of course, is there a cure. While they work to find one, the best they can do is make sure the girls are comfortable to the best of their ability. Otherwise, Fields disease remains a mystery, but hopefully, hopefully not for much longer. And that was our video today, guys. If you liked it, you know what to do, and you want a part four, well, I don't know if I can get one, we'll see. We'll see, but if you know, if you want something similar, let us know, like, comment, subscribe. But yeah, tell me about your day. You know, I love that stuff. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and until next time, stay sweet, honey.